Won't feel it come, won't feel it go. Spending forever. All right, good stuff. So I'm here with uh, Ornell, aka Aria in Dream. Yes. Cool. Thanks for coming in. Um, what do you do? I'm a singer, songwriter, and producer from London. All of my songs and music come from concepts okay. that I write and create. Um, either sort of inspired by things that I read or things that I'm interested in. Mm-hmm. Uh, so at the moment, that's sort of tales and themes to do with Celtic mythology and African folklore. Oh. Um, and writing songs from that kind of perspective and stories I've discovered from there. And I think in terms of the words and things, movement comes with that. Mm-hmm. Um, I think even when we speak, we move. And, you know, every sort of part of us is engaged in what we're doing, hopefully. Mm-hmm. So I like to sort of extend that to my performances too. Cool. So, I mean, wh- how would you describe your genre or does that change depending on what concept you're writing about? Uh, yeah, right. Um, it changes to an extent in that it is all sort of very electronic uh-huh. um, production is my main sort of thing um, however each song and each story is I believe its own kind of thing, its own kind of entity and it needs certain voicings in terms of how I vocalise certain instruments or instrumentation in terms of how I perform mm-hmm. Uh, the music on record Um, so yeah I'd say genre changes not necessarily in a sort of conscious way but just in terms of what the song feels as if it wants and needs Cool. are you going to be you say it's quite electronic so are you going to be incorporating some uh, native instruments into your future performances absolutely Um, I've got a few songs at the moment where albeit they're sort of electronic native instruments but you know toying with all kinds of things like congas and um, uh, the sitar on one song and just, you know, different kinds of world music sounds um, to whatever the song needs. Um, So, uh, obviously everyone says that they are uh, unique, which I also believe they are, but everyone kind of has influences, right? Would you say there are any particular artists that you're inspired by or...? Um, Prince, Kate Bush and Bjork and they are my influences So that's a cool influence Um, Yeah, so what's what's happening now and what's going to happen for the rest of 2018 in terms of uh, you playing any festivals releasing any music, what's what's going on? Hmm. Um, So my first official release came out last, or this month the 1st of June, so that's my single Forever, Mm -hmm. so that's out everywhere at the moment and the video for Forever comes out two Fridays from now okay. um, and that will be followed by the next single release um, I'm still torn on which song that's going to be but essentially it's releasing songs over the next few months mm-hmm. that all come from my EP um, which is written and recorded that's called In Dream uh, and that should be out towards the end of the year and then, uh, yeah, the next gig is the 21st of July. <laughs> That's at the Gladstone Arms with Bark Presents. And more gigs, TBC. Cool. You mentioned, so your EP is going to be called In Dream, and that's also relating to your artist name. So what's the story behind that? Mm. Um, so In Dream... Uh, It's quite a long story, so I'll try and keep it really, really brief, but essentially that concept derived from explorations of my birth name, which is Ornella. Um, And I remember me and my my little sister were having a conversation about names and meanings and names, and her name is Anne-Marie. It has all of these great meanings to do with prosperity and abundance and wealth and all of these grand themes and ideas and I googled my name and found out that it meant flowering ash tree which I just thought was so rubbish in comparison to abundance and prosperity and life and wealth Um, so (laughs) that kind of led me to want to look deeper into it and well what's an ash tree and what's flowering and well that's got to mean something right Um, and you know that led me to the sort of tales of Celtic mythology and African folklore wherein um, 
among tree worshippers, if that's your kind of thing. Um, the ash tree was seen to be this sort of uh, world tree to do with everything that's divine and feminine. Um, it's seen to be a sort of tree of healing and um, characteristically it's very different to other trees in that it has roots very deep down in the earth. Um, a really long, tall, pale trunk and branches that against gravity always sort of face upwards reaching for something and because of all of those characteristics physically um, tree worshippers and things sort of believed that the roots deep in the earth represented connections to the underworld, darkness, all kinds of other themes. The sort of tall, uh, tall trunk in the physical world representing a real sort of presence in the physical mm -hmm. and the branches always reaching for more and always wanting more um, and to be bigger than itself. So um, from all of that in Dream came about um, the EP follows the concept from the roots through to the trunk up to the reach for something more and through that because it's all to do with very sort of dreamlike themes and concepts it just felt natural that that's what it would be. Cool. That's a really elaborate background. That's <laughs> enough research for a whole book there. Um, I read and I love uh, mythology and things like that a lot. So, yeah. yeah, there's a lot of that in the music. Cool. Now, I look forward to hearing it. Um, so mm. where can people find out about you? What's the best place online to find out about you and your projects and your gigs? Uh, Facebook, my Aria in Dream page, um, mm -hmm. all one word. Um, Instagram too. Instagram's great for sort of daily updates and things. Uh, YouTube, uh, it's going to be a lot more active over the, the next couple of weeks, mm -hmm. and months, and bits. And uh, yeah, SoundCloud, Spotify, iTunes, all of those. Cool. We'll put a link in the description. Um, finally, uh, there's obviously a lot of budding young musicians at the Media Music Company. So do you have anything from your musical journey, words of wisdom, anything that you can share with, with younger aspiring musicians? I'd say the same thing I tell myself, which is take care of yourself. Um, keep your thoughts as positive as you can. Do what feels right and make music that you are happy with and believe in. And work through the hard parts of the process because I think it's very easy to assume that things just happen or artists just wake up the way that they are and do what they do and it's not you know it's mm -hmm. a constant battle of working hard to to just do the thing just write the songs just perform the, the stuff it's not all a given to do it so yeah just keep as positive as you can and remind yourself that Art is art, and anyone can make it. Good stuff. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh -huh.